I brought the how, brought the how, was shy, brought the how, brought the how, was shy, brought the how, 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 Peace and blessings and salutations to you, like Akim, that's pushing the gospel and also studying the truth by Hashem Rakakwadash. Hey, this is a warning to you women that were dealing with the prophets of Great Millstone, whether you, you know, they were your husbands or you was dealing with men of the Lord as, as, as your husband and then you chose to betray them or you chose to uh, become wicked and complacent and defy your husband's wishes. And now you're looking at these different Israelite groups and these different Israelite men and these different Israelite women. Hey. I'm here to tell you that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to destroy you, man. And we're going to go into the precepts proving that. Because for one thing, that's wicked as all hell. A woman is dealing with a man in the camp, you know, part of Great Millstone, because we believe we are the real prophets, man. And then all of a sudden the situation goes sour. Now you got the bitch that's looking at Nate's camp or. Uh, uh, or Bubble Eyes Camp Or uh, just these different Splinter Israelite groups man Which is nothing but confusion Because I'm going to tell you just like this The Israel United in Christ Prince Princess Shamaria This this demon right here Nate's wife The daughters of Sarah Hey these women are straight demons man They're demons They're evil And they're not in the truth And you simple minded ass women That flock to these groups Because they look the part Hey you got another thing coming Because if you were the Israelite man you ain't supposed to be doing that, man. That's confusion. You all of a sudden, now you break up with your man. Now all of a sudden, you watching Nate and them. And you, you know, you trying to fuck fit in with these other Israelite hoes out here. But all these women that wear these headscarves, man, they ain't fucking right. None of them ain't right. Because it's nothing but adultery. It's nothing but uh, their, it's their wife swapping. And then part of Nate's congregation, they teach you that, oh, you got to lead a man you with and deal with a man of Nate's congregation. And that's wicked as all hell. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of you women do that because you want to absorb authority over the men. But that's adultery. That's wicked. And if you're dealing with a man of Great Millstone, you are not to be watching any other Israelite men video. You don't even really need to know the truth. Only thing you need to know is how to obey and submit to your husband and just be a housewife. That's all the hell you got to do. You ain't got to do all that extra shit. You know, because the ones of you that got headscarves on, you're worse than the regular women in the world. You know, and you women, you're going to get judged, man, because that's fucking adultery. That's disrespectful. And that ain't right, man. And it's a lot of these women that do that, man. They end up breaking up with their husbands because they don't like the way their husband is doing things, you know, because he's laying down an order. And then all of a sudden they try to get with these other Israelite groups to justify their wickedness. And they want to be among these type women. That shit wicked, man, because all the women in the IUIC, that's nothing but confusion, jealousy, hatred. It's a lot of adultery going on in there. They're popping each other's wives. And for you to do that to a man of the Lord, that's low, man. And the Lord is going to require that blood at your hand. And another thing is this fucking sister Lydia Yah, this Lydia Yah lioness, she's a wicked ass woman too, man. And she's not in order. She got dreadlocks for one. She don't cover her head. She's speaking out of place. She's trying to teach the scriptures. And she's coming from a proud standpoint. Talking about the powers in a woman. You out your damn mind. A woman don't have no goddamn power, man. All right? If it's not pushing the, the, the truth, standing behind her husband, she has nothing to say. So let's go into some scriptures, man, because it's a lot of you women that claim to be down with us, and you're really not. And the Lord is going to judge you for that because hey, you are not, and I repeat, you are not to look at another man in another congregation, man, because that's confusion, and that opens up doors for adultery, man, all because you feel some type of way because you ain't doing the right thing. So now you go to another Israelite group, that give you the condolence to commit sin and wickedness. That's not cool, man. That's why we say the hell with these women, man. We ain't got no women on this side. And I'm hearing countless of stories of this. Brothers complaining about that. They dealing with these women and all of a sudden they're breaking off and trying to look at other Israelite groups. That's wicked, man. If you're dealing with a man of Great Millstone, that's why the hell you stay. If you somehow miraculously came across your husband's videos, that's the only man you should be fucking watching. This is the book of... Uh, 14 and 33 it says <clears throat> for the most high is not the altar of confusion but of peace as in all the churches of the saints peace man peace but it says let your woman keep silence in the churches for it is not permitted unto them to speak but they are committed to be under obedience as said the law meaning you ain't got a damn if your husband tell you look do this do this this is what you need to do because for one thing when you congregate with all these worldly ass women that claim to be in the truth that's nothing but confusion that's nothing but confusion. It is nothing but a bunch of a bunch of it's, 
is a bunch of bullshit because they're not going to tell you what to do. They're going to give you their own opinion based on their own fucking feminist prop propagators needs. That's all they're going to do. They're not going to tell you the scriptures. And if you're dealing with a man of GMS and then you talking to women from IUIC, they're going to tell you to lead a man from GMS because they're going to tell you that the man of GMS condones rape. He ain't right. He's, they're going to just slander us. That's what they do. And you stupid enough to listen to that all because it fits your fucking Western ideologies, man, the way you think. Because that's how you really feel. You know, so being, hey, so brothers, man, those of you that got women that know the truth or that know somewhat of this truth and know that you teach, do not let your women talk to these other Israelite women, man. Because, hey, that's nothing but confusion. These hoes, they not in the truth. Just because they got fringes on in a head wrap and say, Shalom, sister, Shalom, brother, that don't make them righteous because they ain't nothing but a bunch of goddamn groupies, man. I'd be damn in hell if I had a woman that's sitting up there in the congregation with a lot of other men you got these niggas rapping you got the head of the different things and she's looking at these men like they're some type of god when she's supposed to be looking at you like that i refuse to it man that's your woman man nobody has a right to that and the women that was dealing with the man of great millstone that chose to turn their back on the prophets and you doing that the lord got a special death for you hoes man because you think you slick you're not getting away with nothing everything that's being done in the dark will come to the light everything is nothing hidden with your how about you was shot everything is going to be manifested so you're not getting away with nothing I'm trying to hide the pages and and click private on your videos like we don't have access we got access to everything because the lord reveals everything through the spirit and it says and if they will learn anything let them ask their husbands at home Meaning you ask your husband, meaning you don't get into a disagreement with your man because he told you that, look, you need to be quiet. You need to stop lying. You need not to commit adultery. You need to be respectful. You need to be up to par. Just respect the man. That's no uh, uh, grounds to try to put him away because it's not going it's going against your feminist beliefs in America. So you say, I don't like that. So let me try to find a, a sister group or something like that. Because I know they're going to feel the way I feel. And you damn right they're going to feel the way you feel. Because, hey, they're going to tell you straightforward in the IUIC. Them niggas ain't right, man. <clears throat> the men in the IUIC ain't right. They ain't men. None of these camps, man. None of them. Because they all simps. They're snitches. And they all sellouts, man. For the, for the most part. And it says if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church that's right so she ain't supposed to be on a comment board she ain't supposed to be emailing nate's wife about a sister uh congregation sister class because the minute you talk to these different women that have somewhat different beliefs than you they're gonna but they're gonna put some bullshit in your mind that's not true they're gonna tell you oh sister you can date outside if he if you ain't dealing with him no more you could date another israelite man no that's not no that's that's adultery man yahweh shah said that's adultery man Matter of fact, let's get that in uh, Corinthians 7, man. All right, so this is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 7, and I'm going to start at, uh, let's start at uh, 11. It might start at 10. It says, and unto the Mary I commend, yet not, but I the Lord, but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband. Meaning she ain't supposed to be trying to put no man away. Especially if he ain't doing nothing wrong. He's telling the truth. He's bringing down the righteous commandments. And she just a wicked ass demon. You ain't supposed to. You ain't got a right to tell that man. Go fuck off. I don't need you. I got the knowledge. That's bullshit. Because you're going to get lumped up with these other niggas. That ain't going to do nothing but treat you worse. And you're going to be a, a, a bigger whore than what you was. You're going to be passed around. Like a fucking a blunt and a fucking cypher man. And it says, but if she depart, let her remain unremarried, all right? Or be reconciled to her husband, and let not the husband put away his wife, all right? So right there tells you right there, man, hey, let her not remarry, man. She ain't supposed to be going out here searching other Israelite groups, man. If she was dealing with a man of Grey Millstone, she ain't supposed to be trying to come under the IUIC doctrine because she liked the way they dress or she liked the fact that these bitches and these proud pumped up pompous whores are teaching when they're not supposed to teach man scripture just said the woman's supposed to be silent in the churches <clears throat> all right so matter of fact let's get another precept because this shit is getting ridiculous man and that, that's a smack in the face hey to you brothers that's going through that man that's a straight smack in the face man that's a smack in the face and that ain't cool because you know these little wicked ass niggas going by the fact that you're being part of great millstone you know that these wicked ass niggas are gonna try to throw dirt on your name. So if you had a woman, right? She was dealing with you and all of a sudden she started talking to somebody from Nate's congregation. What the hell you think gonna happen? 
You think that they ain't gonna throw dirt on your name? You think they ain't gonna come at you? You think they ain't gonna try to demonize you? And 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 and, and uh, validate her false claims of how she feel about you falsely because she can't understand the truth. This is the book of uh, Ephesians 5 and 22, man. It says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. It says, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as the Hamashiach is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. That's right, man. He is the savior of the body, man. You're supposed to submit to your husband, bar none. If he say, look, man, I need you to do this and this and this. I need you to be respectful. Don't yell. Don't cuss me out. You know, stop looking at other Israelite men videos. Stop getting pumped up at watching these women Israelite videos because that's where the problem lies at. The scriptures say that uh, a woman is not supposed to teach but to remain in silence. All right. So it says, therefore, as the church is the subject into the Hamashiach, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything, man. Everything. So it's say if you and your wife do depart and she know you're an Israelite or she know you teach the word and she knows your videos, she's supposed to watch you and you only. She's supposed to be trying to click on other men or other women and get some false knowledge because that's fucking confusion. As we just read in the scriptures, it says the Lord is not the altar of confusion, man. And if same and, and same thing with you other women, man. Like a situation happened a couple of weeks ago when this chick tried to come up to the brother and she was already married to another Israelite man from the GOCC, but she trying to hop on a brother. We like, nah, man, go get back with your husband. And the brother just said, you know, that could be any one of our wives, and it could be, man. And that's why we tell your brother, you brothers, man, it's better if you got a woman that don't know the truth, because if she knows the truth, it comes more problems, man. And a lot of times, we don't even teach our women or attempt to teach them, man. They just find out about it, or we end up speaking about it, and... Basically, a woman just a woman just gotta just just be submissive to you, man. She ain't even gotta be in the truth. If she decides to wear dresses and stuff like that and cover her head, that's cool. But that don't make her righteous, man. Because now she has this God and fury. She has this God complex about herself. Like, oh, somebody's supposed to bow down to her because she just a uh, uh, Israelite woman. Now, Israelite woman ain't gonna be looking at other fucking Israelite men or women videos, especially when it's contrary to the teachings that your husband was teaching, man. And a lot of brothers complain about that. And that's a low blow. So this is the book of um, Corinthians 11 and 3. It says, But I will have you to know that the head of every man is Hamashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the Hamashiach is the Most High. That's right, man. You know? That's the, uh, that's, that's the, uh, that's the order of all things. You know? We're going down to verse uh, 8. It says, For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman but the woman for the men you know so that just that just what it is man you know you women ain't supposed to be doing that man and all you women in Nate's congregation you're gonna be destroyed because a lot of you fucking women man you women are just completely out of order you're wicked you wear head wraps but you're still promiscuous you flirt you're lusting out the other uh, other other brothers when you got husbands you got one nigga that want to rap he got dreads you know he seemed like a worldly type nigga you got her that's with our husband but since Nate got all the congregation in one fucking court you know what I'm saying hey they all just lumped up and she's secretly lusting after this dude and that's why you supposed to keep your wife away man from these other people your wife ain't supposed to be lumped up with all these Israelite women because they all they're wicked they don't have they're not right man you know they 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 they, they, they are feminists with, with head wraps you know so matter of fact let's go to uh First Timothy 2, man. So this is the um, First Timothy 2 and uh, 2 and uh, 9. It says, In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness, meaning putting their head down. Meaning they ain't talking to everybody. They ain't got their fucking heads up all puffed up. They're not all on these comment boards. They're not secretly Googling IUIC or GOCC because they see that they allow women and kids in their congregation. But technically, your congregation is really just your family, man. The men deals in the courts. You women are on the aller courts. And we don't promote that because, for one thing, it's not righteous, man. You women ain't supposed to be all lumped up together, especially when y'all got different beliefs and then you got a bunch of really ass niggas. And then you coming against the real men. Oh, well, I like the way they dress. I like the way they do things. They allow my daughter to be part of the IUIC, so therefore, I want to go with them. Fuck what my husband of GMS is saying. That's adultery, man. That's spiritual fornication. And it says, 
uh, but which profess women professing godliness with good works. But let the woman learn in all solace with all subjection, meaning you ain't supposed to see her. You know, she ain't supposed to be looking up, I need to find some Israelite sister to congregate with. No, man. She need to be focused on her family. She need to be focused on you, her kid. Not how she can get part of us, uh, uh, Sister Shamario or whatever these fucking wicked ass women are. That's wicked, man. And it says, but I suffer not a woman to teach. So that cut that la uh, Lydia Ya Linus is that cut that shit, man, because you're teaching. And you're then you're trying to call men out on their stuff, man. You wicked as hell. You ain't in the truth, and that's why you shut down now. Shut your damn mouth. You have no authority to say a fucking thing. Go find you a damn husband and get your shit right. You need to put all that energy you put in trying to prophesy as being a woman, a prophetess. You need to put that shit into finding you a husband so you can get salvation. And finding you a man that's teaching the proper doctrine. Not none of this Christianity bullshit, man. Because they ain't nothing but a goddamn fed. They ain't, IUIC ain't nothing but a group of goddamn, they, they're sellouts, they're agents, and they're being exposed on all levels, man. If you're not pushing the doctrine GMS is pushing, then you ain't right, man. And that's just what it boils down to. We don't give a fuck who feels some type of way. But it says, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to you absorb authority over the man, but to be in silence. That's right, man. Shut the hell up. Just be quiet, man. That's all you got to do. Listen to your man. You don't need to be around these other lumped up ass Israelite groups, man, because they promoting wickedness, man. And it's going to turn you, it's going to turn your, uh, your, your eye evil towards your men. That's not cool. So this is the book of uh, 2 Timothy 3, and I'm going to start, I'm going to start at um, 4. It says traitors, because that is some treacherous shit, man. You dealing with a woman, she down with you, all of a sudden now, she's down with Nate. It says heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of the most high. And you see that guy, this comforter, he got popped off. He got judged. Now he's facing jail time for uh, tax evasion of $5.3 million, man. You got all the women lumped up in that congregation lusting after that big, fat, very white-looking nigga. You know what I'm saying? And they got men in the congregation. I'd be damned. I'd be damned if I had a woman that's going to sit up here and be all gung-ho and secret looking at some nigga. If she going to do that, she need to stay with him, man. But that's wickedness, man. And that shit is going on in these camps, man. And a lot of you brothers, man, that got women that got these social medias, man, that claim that they was down with you, man. Hey, man. They ain't down with you, man. And I know from personal experience because I've seen this shit with my own two eyes. Women trying to hop on different brothers in different camps. That ain't now, nah, man. You supposed to remain unmarried. You give a damn how good you look. But it says, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high. Having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. And from this sort are they which creep into houses and lead silly, lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, man. And this is a prime fucking example of that right here. This is a divers lust right here. Look at this. Daughters of Sarah. Ain't none of these harlots of daughters of Sarah, man. Look at this, man. You ain't the daughters of Sarah. Look at this. This is just plain wicked. Look at this, man. This is wicked as all hell. The, ain't none of these women virtuous. They all wicked and they're whores and they all fucking a bunch of damn feminists, man. A bunch of damn feminists. Just look up fornication, man. Because that ain't nothing but spiritual fornication. Your husband is your lord. So this is the book of uh let me get uh Matthews 19. Uh this is Matthews uh, 19 and 9. It says, and I say unto you, whosoever should put away his wife except it be for fornication, which is adultery, and she marry another, committed adultery. See, it says she marry another, committed adultery. If she marry another man, she's committing adultery. And whosoever married her, which is put away, does commit adultery. So if she's put away, she's committing adultery. Yahweh Shah just said that, man. And she marry another, committed adultery. Because, hey, Yahweh Shah said, and Paul broke it down. He said, let her be reconciled to her husband. So she's not supposed to be getting with these different fucking camps, man. That's oath. That's adultery, man. 
And hey, if you're doing that, hey, you got a harsh judgment coming. The Lord is going to destroy all the adulterers, man. That's not cool. What's that scripture? Proverbs 37. No, Proverbs 30. It says, such is the way as an adulterous woman who wiped her mouth and said, I've done nothing wrong. Let me find that real quick. Hold on one second. Oh, I'm trying to find. I know I'm overlooking it. Proverbs 30 and 30. See, this is the book of uh, Proverbs 31, and I'm going to start at um, 3. It says, Give not thy strength unto women, nor the ways to which destroy kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted, man. You know, going into those, those fucking philosophies, man. Those false doctrines, man. All right? It says, Give not thy strength unto women, man, to women. Uh, adulterous woman. Such so is the way of the adulterers one. Proverbs 30 and 20, right? This is Proverbs 30 and 20. It says, Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eat it, then wipe her mouth and say, I've done no wickedness, man. And that's a woman for you. You know, she's playing like, oh, she's down for you. Oh, I haven't done anything. I'm this and this and that. You know, but low key, she's behind your back, sneaking, watching other men. It's not right, man. And it says here, for three things the earth is disquieted, and for four it cannot bear. For a servant when he reigneth, and a fool when he is filled with meat. And for the odious woman when she is married, and handmaid that is her mistress. And there be four things which are loaded upon the earth, but they are exceedingly wise, man. And he breaks down how he goes into the ants of people not strong, but how they are colony, and how they pretty much get prepared for what they need to do. But the scriptures tell you that away of an adulterous woman, man. All right, adulterous woman, that's adultery. She's not supposed to be committing fornication like that. That's off, man. This is the book of uh, 2 Peter 2. And I'm going to start at um, 12. Matter of fact, 12, it says, But these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. That's right. Speaking evil of the things that they understand not. So when you tell your woman, look, man, don't, don't, don't talk back to me. That's not cool. Get in order. You're yelling at her. You're cursing her out. You know what I'm saying? But they're speaking evil because they say you in a cult. They say you control and they say you abusive. But it says speaking evil of the things they understand not. Because you don't 